Hey, yo, what's going on? It's Boss Cat Astronaut with another update. Uh, today, we go into a deep dive into the world of Crow's Dow. Uh, Crow's Dow uh, comes from, uh, you know, uh, some CNFT friends and colleagues uh, that put this project together. Uh, they're fellow Boss Cats. Uh, it's really interesting because we're beginning to see the emergence of lots of boss cats venturing into uh, different projects and uh, really expanding the ecosystem of what we consider uh, boss cats. Uh, so a uh, shout out to them, but I uh, wanted to do a deep dive and kind of walk you through their light paper. Uh, this is a light paper with lots of very tangible and clear information so I don't want to waste your time. I want to get into this right away. Uh, but while you're at it, uh, feel free to like and subscribe uh, if you uh, enjoy the content. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So Crow's Dow. Um, we're going to start out not necessarily with the introduction. Uh, so Crow's is a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. It's developed on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, what that essentially means is uh, you have an organization run by its NFT holders, okay? And that structure uh, can be developed in many, many ways. And they're going to tell us uh, how they structured this specific DAO. So let's get into the basic concept here. So typically DAOs are run via a voting system, and this is no different. So essentially, the funds are managed by all members that are voting through the specific DAP uh, that has been chosen in order to pull together those votes. Uh, what makes the DAO powerful is the fact that you're pulling all your resources together to target, uh, in some cases, assets, in some cases, uh, missions or movements, uh, whatever you're collectively as a community targeting. Uh, you're able to do it more efficiently in most cases with a DAO. So what makes Crows different uh, in terms of DAOs on the Cardano blockchain? Uh, well, they want to make polls to purchase assets cross-chain. So this is a cross-chain DAO. Now, I have not seen many, I don't think I've seen any uh, Cardano uh, DAOs in the space that are cross chain at this point. So this is something new. When I'm looking at a project, I always want to identify what makes them unique, right? So this is definitely uh, one of those things. This is cross chain. What does that mean? It means that while you're safely, you know, uh, utilizing ADA on the Cardano blockchain, uh, you can identify projects on other blockchains such as Ethereum, uh, BSC. Solana, XRP, and many others. The great thing about this is like any investment, it diversifies your portfolio. So although I love Cardano, uh, you know, I do delve into other projects outside of the blockchain from time to time. And this provides you with more exposure cross-chain. So I like this concept. I think it's original. I think it's new for Cardano. So thumbs up on that. Now let's get into the dashboard that they're talking about here. So a uh, dashboard is a secure platform made for the holder to have transparent access to the DAO information. So they want you to see what's going on uh, in terms of topics, uh, votes uh, that you're able to identify. So what you'll see available immediately in the V1 version of the dashboard uh, you'll be able to uh, sign into the dashboard using the DAP connector. You can vote for acquisition polls. So what do we want to acquire? Vote in launch polls. Okay. We'll get more detail on that. Vote for cross-chain polls. Like what other uh, blockchains are you looking to invest in? And then finally, vote on sales polls. I'm assuming... That has to do with potentially selling some of the assets owned by Crow's DAO. So uh, lots of cool stuff in the future. 
uh, net value and NFTs uh, at Dow. I like that concept because when you're trying to indicate the value of what you're holding, that will be very, very helpful. And with that said, value indicated for the Crows card will also be part of the V2 version. That's going to be really helpful uh, when you have folks in the space uh, that are investing and identifying their portfolio, right? So this is available after partnership slash delivery with a Plutus consulting company, management of funds through a multi-sig using Crow, Crow's cards. So we'll be using Crow's cards. That's pretty cool. All right. So if a pool of three, if, if a pool has 300 votes and 166 people vote, yes, by a B board, a board, a yacht club funds will be released from the smart contract address to a hot wallet where the team member responsible for acquisitions will make the purchase and send it to the treasury's cult wallet. So that's pretty cool. This is identifying the process that they have in place. And again, it looks like your card is your vote, right? So let's go further on this cross chain DAO and the Crows card, right? Um, so the Crows card art is unique. There, so there will be no differentiation on rarity. Its value uh, must be respected by the total value of the treasury. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of your Crows card. It's based on the total value of the treasury. Uh, this way, the total value and liquidity of the project divided by the supply is the unique estimated value of the token. So each Crows card gives you the value of one vote, okay? All right. And you'll be able to enter the dashboard uh, via the holder's Discord channel. So make sure you check that out. Um, before we continue here, I just want you all to know, I should have mentioned this earlier. I will be giving away five, five whitelist spots for a Crows card. So if you're interested, I'll definitely be doing that for you guys. What I want you to do is uh, make sure you comment, uh, check out Crows Dow on Twitter, like, uh, like and subscribe uh, to their page. And I'm going to choose five of you uh, to be whitelisted. So with that, let's continue here. Now, teams are always important. Shout out to Jetson. Uh, so Jed, uh, he's a project manager from Australia. Uh, he works on commercial projects, okay? Uh, in my line of work, uh, I do a lot of project management as well. So you want somebody that's familiar with working with cross-functional teams actually working in this specific type of space. Now, uh, Luis, NKZ, he's Brazilian. Cool, cool. Currently living in the countryside of Sao Paulo, 27, dentist when he graduates, um, also has an MBA and he's in the process management. I like it. He owns and runs a marketing agency in Brazil. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, I have, I have a background in marketing as well. Cool. Can relate to us. I, I understand the team so far and what they're doing. Kawan or Nusito programmer in love with Python and C++, back-end programmer. He started at 14 and he's 20. Nice. Okay, cool. And then Matt or Karen from HR, shout out to Matt. Uh, English at heart, but currently living in Australia. He's a logistics manager. This is so weird. I have a background in three out of the four of the team's uh, skill sets. Uh, it's really interesting. Cool. 26 years old, double degree in management and marketing. Got involved in crypto in 2017. Uh, fellow boss cat. Cool dude. Um, all the all these fellas uh, are pretty cool. I think I know three out of the four or two out of the four. I know for sure. So uh, I like that they're being transparent about what they're bringing to the table and their experience. I think it'll be really helpful moving forward with the Dow to have that business experience there. Really key. So in terms of royalties, what percentage of royalties go into the treasury and what 
percentage of royalties will go to the team. Treasury top up until 100,000 ADA has been topped up into the treasury. 100% of royalties will go directly to the treasury. We can't, we can't stress enough how dedicated we are. Okay. They're giving 100% of royalties back to holders. Now, after 100,000 ADA has topped up into the treasury, 25% will always go to the treasury and 75% to the team for maintenance and development costs. Okay. So they're topping up to 100 ADA. After that, 25% goes into the treasury and 75% to the team for maintenance and development costs. Okay. So that's pretty clear. How often will royalties be put into the treasury? Once a week. Okay. Once a week. So that's pretty clear. All right. What will be the percentage of royalties on each sale? That will be 5%. That is fair. That's pretty fair. All right. We know what a royalty is. I, at least I hope we do. Okay. Let's go on to escrow. So the team will be providing an escrow service for extra utility. Uh, to have a trusted escrow service is key in terms of trading, uh, and just having a safe space to really do what we do in terms of uh, trading and uh, trying to uh, pursue the assets that we're really interested in or sell the assets that we'd like to sell. So this is great. I like this idea as well. Added utility, added value. Uh, what's next? Hmm. Treasury and purchases, huh? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So they no one has full control of the treasury. I also like that idea. Uh, two team members have 50% control in the uh and the other two fellows have 50% control. Okay. That's helpful. All right. Now, let's take a look at their buyback system. Okay, we want to control the values practiced by members in the secondary market. Oh, we no, we can't control the values practiced by members in the secondary market and flippers. But to help control the values, we want to keep a supply smaller than the current DAOs with 10K launches. Okay. For those who advertise the project in amounts that are 25% lower than the defined by than, defi than that defined by Treasury, it will be churches using the project fund or royalty fund and placed back on the market at the current Treasury price. That's amazing. I like the buyback system. I think that's a great way to uh, create a solid, solid price uh, and protect the investments of your holders. Excellent. All right. Now, in terms of the mint, total crow card NFT supply, 4,444. Public, 4,250. 150 for the team. Giveaways and promotions, 44. The cost is 300 ADA. Mint date is to be announced, okay? Total funds raised from the mint, 1,275,000 ADA. Minus mint fees, okay? So, 25%, so cl pretty close to 320000 will be reserved for the Dow team, project fund, marketing, and service provider. Um, so, it breaks down. Each Dow team member will receive about close to 64000 ADA. Um, and then this will leave a total amount of nine hundred. About 935,000 ADA for the Dow's purchasing power. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, good start. Uh, I can definitely purchase uh, Board Ape uh, with that amount for sure, uh, among other things. Uh, so, speaking of a Board Ape, uh, sorry to get us off track. I'm just looking at things that are trending on OpenSea, right? 
So in, ter in terms of a board ape, right? The floor price is 119 ADA. Okay. So if we go to buy now, all right. Let's click on this. All right. So that's about 370K. So you could totally get a board ape. Uh, within the price point and what the uh, what Crow's Dow is raising and still have lots lots of capital to play with. Uh, what I also like about the concept is let's say that you wanted to purchase you know a board ape but uh, let's say you have some other ideas as well. What if you wanted a mutant ape or a board ape kennel club? Like you now have access to Doge Pound. I haven't even looked at this in forever. Uh, but let's go Mutant Ape really quick. Right? See, your floor price is about 31 Ethereum. Uh, let's go to buy now. And I mean, you, nothing wrong with getting the floor, right? So that you get a floor for, you know, almost 100K, 96K, right? So these are great opportunities. To put it in perspective, um, imagine if Crow's Dow were holding two of these assets, a mutant ape and a board ape, uh, when we just had the ape coin drop. So there's lots of utility uh, and opportunity in the future. I'm thinking about Boss Cat Rockets, even though, <laughs> even though uh, that's on Cardano. Like there's so many different assets to really take advantage of. So really excited about what they're doing. Really excited. So the mint date will be announced. Um, their project launch concept. I'm not going to dig too deep into this one. I'm not going to dig deep here uh, or on the Plutus. Uh, what I will do is uh, kind of explain their valuation. So. The Crows card will be directly linked to a one out of 4,444 share of the total value of the treasury. That's going to include the value of the NFTs as well as the cross chain NFTs, as well as uh, what what actually is in the treasury in terms of ADA. Right. So if you have two million ADA, the value would roughly be 450 ADA for your Crows card. OK, so this is a very simple way to value uh, your Crow's card in something that you guys should kind of really consider um, in terms of like, uh, I'd say safer investments to give you exposure to some really cool stuff that you wouldn't be able to afford on your own, right? Now, um, another interesting thing as we were looking at that is, you know, crypto punks, man. Imagine having exposure to crypto punks. Um, now, the last thing we're going to look at here is the roadmap. So let's take a quick look. So uh, in terms of Q1, they launched the socials, soft launch of Discord and Twitter. So I think Discord and Twitter at about 200 followers each. So your brand spanking uh, new. You're very early in terms of having access to uh, an opportunity with Crow's Dow. So I advise you to do your own research and check it out. But what they have coming up is a V1 release of the website. You guys just saw the light paper that we walked through. I want to see the Crow's card art reveal. I'm excited for that. Um, they're going to work through their cross chain procedures, work on their voting systems. Whitelisting Crow's Mint is coming in May. Public Crow's Mint looks like it's coming towards the end of May. So we might be like about a month out from uh, securing. You guys are early to possibly secure a whitelist spot. But uh, to kind of be part of this will be really, really cool. Really, really interesting. Excited that you guys are hearing about this so early. Excited that the team... Uh, uh, just shared all this information so quickly for us all to take advantage of. Now, the first holder vote will be the proposal on board Ape Yacht Club. So excited. I think that will pass very easily. 
and then new proposals and votes by holders so that you can do your own homework. You can take control. You can identify projects that you want to get exposure to. My advice to all of you is find projects with utility and additional assets associated with them. So an example would be, uh, like we just said, with uh, ApeCoin, with uh, Board API Club and Mutant Apes. Uh, same thing with uh, uh, Boss Planet. Um, same thing with uh, Clay Nation pitches. Like there's tokens associated associated with it. The same thing uh, with Ape Society. They're doing an incredible job right now. So whether you're looking cross chain internally here at Cardano, identify projects with utility that are going to add value. Uh, Boss cats. I mean, we have we have a Vox cat drop. Uh, coming in the com you know next few days, so anything that can can add additional value and utility is key. I think these guys are really onto something in terms of what they're bringing to the table, and it's about time that we had a Cardano project providing exposure to other blockchains. And I'm happy that they did this. I think uh, it could also potentially bring over new people into the space, whether it's folks from Solana. Ethereum, um, Avalanche, you know, wherever. So uh, shout out to the team. Thank you guys uh, for all the hard work thus far, really kind of put it, putting the light paper together. I think it's clear, concise, very detailed, and gives people a really good idea on, uh, on the project and how they should move forward. So more to come on Crow's Dow. Go check them out yourself. Check out the Discord. Check out uh, their Twitter Drop some stuff in the comments so that we can give away these whitelist spots. Don't be shy. As I always say, start every day. Can you see it? With a grateful heart, right? Feel free to like and subscribe. As I said earlier, I will talk to you all later.